And this morning we're starting off with cloudy skies. We're seeing some drizzle, a little bit of fog across eastern Oklahoma, and we're going to see that continue as we move on through the morning hours. It'll slowly fade away as the morning progresses. The good news for the trick or treaters, it looks dry for this evening as we'll see partly cloudy skies developing here in the Tulsa area for the second half of the day. We're also going to talk about warmer temperatures moving in for tomorrow, so definitely some good news back into the 70s. So looking pretty good for the second half of the weekend. First of all, let's take a live look over in Oklahoma City, and we're seeing cloudy skies over in central Oklahoma this morning. Still a little bit of fog, still a little bit of drizzle over in central sections of the state, but you notice really not seeing any significant rainfall over in Oklahoma City this morning. And the same story right here in Tulsa, even though Union High School, we are looking off to the west. We're seeing still some drizzle, a little bit more drizzle here in the city compared to Oklahoma City, and that will fade away as we move through the morning hours, but still some fog around. And again, we'll see improving conditions for the second half of the day, but we are dealing with a gray start on this Halloween morning. As we take a look at Storm Shield radar, the heaviest of the rain has shifted well off to the east areas of southeast Oklahoma over into Arkansas. Still some of that drizzle across across parts of northeastern Oklahoma, maybe some isolated showers, a little bit heavier rainfall over in areas of Cherokee County, extending down into western sections of Sequoia County, but that activity is moving to the east and northeast as well. So that drizzle and fog around for a time this morning, then that will fade away. We'll see mostly cloudy skies for the rest of the morning into the early, possibly even the mid afternoon hours. But by the mid to late afternoon, we could see a few breaks in the clouds, especially from Tulsa off to the northwest, especially northwestern and north central Oklahoma. And then as we move through the evening hours, I do expect that clearing line to push a little bit further to the south and to the east. So here in Tulsa, I'm going partly cloudy skies this evening. We'll see mostly cloudy skies during the evening hours in far eastern Oklahoma. We can't completely get rid of, of some drizzle or a few sprinkles in far eastern Oklahoma this evening for the trick-or-treaters, but here in Tulsa, looks like we'll be in pretty good shape. As we take a look at Midtown Cam, we're looking at I-44. The roads are damp in some spots, wet in others. Just be careful if you have any travel plans this morning. 57 degrees, so it is a cool start this morning. Maybe a light jacket's about all you'll need. West winds right now at about 3 or 4 miles per hour, so we're going calm at this point, and they're going to stay relatively light throughout much of the day today. Upper 50s here in the Tulsa metro. You notice somewhat uniform temperatures, 56, 57 degrees. That about covers it across the metro. And same story in northeast Oklahoma. Oklahoma, a little bit cooler up around Coffeeville, 53, 54 in Bartlesville, 57 here in the city, a little warmer in southeast Oklahoma right now, 65 degrees, but mostly cloudy skies across eastern sections of the state that extends back into central Oklahoma. You notice as you move a little further out to the northwest, so Alva, we're seeing mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and temperatures have cooled off with the clearing skies there, so we have to wait a while before we'll see a little bit of sunshine later on today. And temperature wise, where we've seen the clear skies, temperatures have dropped into the 40s from Omaha to Dodge City back into the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. In advance of that, we still have a lot of cloudiness, and that's helping to keep temperatures up this morning in the 50s and 60s from much of Texas through central and eastern Oklahoma, most of Missouri and Arkansas under the clouds this morning. So a mild start here with the clouds with the cooler temperatures off to the northwest. As we move on through the day on future track, we'd keep cloudy skies going. You notice around 1030, still mostly cloudy here. We could see a little bit of drizzle and fog still lingering, but slowly fading away. As we move into the afternoon hours, you notice around 2 o'clock starts to clear out those clouds. We could see a few breaks in the clouds as we move through the early to mid-afternoon hours. Thicker cloud cover Tulsa southeast. We'll see more sunshine to the northwest, especially north central Oklahoma. Then as we move through the afternoon hours, you notice those clouds trying to hold just south and east of the Tulsa area. So there will be a time where we'll see some sunshine Tulsa northwest. And it looks like mostly cloudy skies from Tulsa down to the southeast for much of the day today. And then those clouds finally push on off as we move through the late evening and overnight hours by 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. We'll see mainly clear to partly cloudy skies, but with the clearing skies, I do expect some patchy fog to redevelop across parts of the area tomorrow morning. So be advised with that if you have any early morning travel plans for your Sunday morning. Here's a look at temperatures for highs today, generally in the mid to upper 60s. So it will be a cool day out there. We'll see mid to upper 60s from Tulsa down to the south. Southeast Oklahoma, generally mid to upper 60s, a light northwest wind, and we'll see some of that morning drizzle and fog. Then we'll see mostly cloudy skies through the afternoon. A few breaks in the clouds here in Tulsa. The further northwest you are from Tulsa, you'll see more sunshine earlier in the day. If you live south and east of Tulsa, you'll see mostly cloudy skies for most of the day. We'll see a few breaks later on tonight and then that patchy fog in the morning. That fades away tomorrow morning and we'll see mostly sunny skies on our Sunday back in the low 70s. Monday looking great. Tuesday looking great. Another storm system moving in by Wednesday night and Thursday will give us another round of showers and thunderstorms at that time and then temperatures cooling back in the 60s and low 70s by the end of the week. So a little bit gray this morning, but the good news, Max, it looks like for the most part, we're going to be in good shape tonight for the trick or treaters. And those warmer temperatures are welcome signs. So is the clock spinning there on the forecast yes. for fall. Falling back, getting an extra hour of sleep. So remember, set your clocks back, although it seems to happen automatically now, right? Uh, some cases, yes. In most cases. Just change the batteries on the smoke detector. Exactly, yeah, that's important as well. All right, Taft, thank you so okay. much.